Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Something has to be done about these simps. Let's get it. So I made a video yesterday about um, white supremacists and black women being on the same team and in cahoots with their hatred for black men. And that is still true, and I definitely still believe that. But there is a there's a part of that. There's a group of people in that, that in my opinion, are worse than white supremacists and um, the hatred that some black women have. And that's these simps. These simps and these black gatekeepers are not only parasites, but they are the biggest threat to a real man. And these simps hate real men and they hate women who support real men. Because see, a simp knows that you don't have what every man has to have in order to cope and, and to be at peace. And that's respect. One thing I do know, a man craves respect over anything and a man can look over and forgive a lot of things if respect is there but see simps don't have respect at all not even for the people that they simp into so that makes them despise real men that have respect and despise women that support real men that have respect. These simps is dangerous. Let's not forget about them. They real dangerous. All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. The danger of simps. As always, we're going to check out these comments. Let's see what the internet had to say in response to what this woman shared. Our first comment here is from a man who says the first man, Adam, was a simp. Damn. <laughs> and it destroyed the world of mankind. All right, listen, that's some, that, that, that's some truth right there. That's a fact. And if you're not familiar with the story, the story goes, God created the heavens and the earth, created the earth, created a garden and gave Adam and Eve everything, put a tree in the middle of that garden and said, you can do anything you want, just don't eat from that tree. What did the woman do? She walked up to the tree, got gamed up by the serpent who told her she can be God, ate from the tree, because women are never satisfied with who they are and convinced her husband to have a bite of the fruit. And I've often made the correlation between Eve wanting to be God in, you know, the story, biblical story of the garden and women in our modern day wanting to be men, right? It's the same lie that they're told you can be a man, you can be a God, whatever. It's the same lie that women are told, right? You can be God from the serpent, which represented the devil, and today's lie, which is you can be a man, which is sold to them by modern day female empowerment. And we had the creator here, the woman who shared her post, who responded back to this comment and said, never thought of it like that. Next comment here reads, yeah, it's the disrespect that's a deal breaker. Many of us simped as taught and from being in love, even after seeing we weren't loved back the same. Next comment from a man here reads, I'm neutral here. Why can't we let people live their lives? Who are we to judge? We can't pick and choose what is convenient for us. Come on, ma. So we got a guy here who says, hey, if men want to simp, then let them. And the question here is, well, what, what is being a simp? Well, being a simp is putting a woman up on a pedestal, putting a woman's needs and wants above yours. And I'm sure for most women, that's music to their ears. And this guy is saying, well, what's wrong with that? Well, the question is then, what does a world look like where men Instead of putting their purpose first in life, chase women's validation. Put women's purpose first in life. Let women lead them. What does that world look like? And if you think that world is okay, then to me, that's a problem. Another comment here reads, simps are opportunists and manipulators who are only using the circumstances to their benefit. You said the truth. Yeah, I, I agree with this comment. I think the majority of simps out here are true opportunists are truly some of the most dangerous manipulators you listen to someone like Derek jackson for example who for years just basically says what women want to hear 
regardless of how he lives his own personal life, he starting a slogan like black men don't cheat, even wearing t-shirts and then getting caught cheating on his own wife. That is the, the, the depths of how low manipulators like and, and simps like Derek Jackson are willing to go to, to literally live contrary to what they speak, right? Versus a guy who would say, well, men are going to cheat on you. That's, I'm sorry, you don't want to hear it, but men will cheat. Should men cheat? I don't think they should, but they probably will, especially the men that you want. I think the question is, is it, is it a one-time mistake or is it something that's a reoccurring problem, right? Whereas Derek Jackson goes and says, black men don't cheat. Men should never cheat and you should never forgive a man for cheating, but goes and cheats on his wife, publicly embarrassing her and his wife stays with him, does the exact opposite thing he tells women not to do. <laughs> right? That's the height a panderer and a manipulator is willing to go. So the guy responded to his own comment here and said they pander to what will give them the desired reaction and or entry. Another comment here reads, I couldn't have said it better. They rather have emotional feelings over knowledge and facts. Next comment here reads, very interesting take. I've not heard this perspective before. What do you guys think of this video and this perspective? As always, curious to know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you for checking out another episode of The Coffee Pod. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.